It's perfect. What's perfect? Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, man. I just saw that little baby mountain of yours and it got me thinking. Don't tell me you're about to suggest we climb a mountain. What? No, I would never. Let's climb a mountain. Ugh, I knew you were gonna say that. Come on, man, we aren't getting any younger. Pretty soon you're gonna settle down, find a puppet wife, buy a puppet house, get a little puppet dog. This could be your last chance to climb a mountain. Ugh, fine. So which mountain do you wanna climb? We should probably start small. I'm thinking Mount Fuji or Pikes Peak or- Mount Everest. Stop doing that. Listen, man, Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. There's no way we can climb it. Tell me about it. Andy's right. Mount Everest is over 29,000 feet high. It's the highest peak on Earth. 29,000 feet? That's like... Not big at all. I'm really good at math. Roberta, is there like an elevator or a ski lift to the top of this bad boy? I'm not trying to spend a year climbing a mountain. Are you kidding? While there's no ski lift, it doesn't take that long to climb Mount Everest. It's said that it takes two whole months to climb it instead. Whoa. Two months? That's like... Not long at all. I'm really good at math. So, two months to climb 29,000 feet. Is that at least nice up there? Like water slides and beach chairs? What? No. Mount Everest is extremely cold. It reaches temperatures of negative 33 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter, negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, and some have reported temperatures as low as negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh no! Also, it's extremely windy. Winds on the mountain have been recorded at more than 200 miles per hour. Wow! So it's really cold, really windy, takes two whole months to get there, and it's the highest thing on the planet? Piece of cake. Piece of cake? What kind of cake are you making that's as easy as climbing a mountain? Um, Mount Everest apple crumb ganache cake. Huh? You just made that up, didn't you? What? Andy, I would never! The recipe has been passed down in my family for a thousand generations. It comes from my ancestors and... Hey, Roberta, where's Mount Everest again? Mount Everest can be found in the Himalayan mountain range on the border of Nepal and Tibet. Yeah, it comes from them. Ugh, you know what? I'm calling it now. We're gonna get to Mount Everest, and the second you see it, you're gonna beg to come home. What, Andy? I'm a modern-day Indiana Jones. I live for adventure. There's no way I'm gonna beg to come home. Two days later. Uh, let's go home. What? Come on, don't even start. This isn't even it. Mount Everest is behind it. Okay, now if there's a third mountain behind it, then I really quit. How about you quit being a baby? Ugh, I knew this was gonna happen. Come on, you can't exactly blame me. This mountain's huge. Besides, I've got this old baseball injury. My left pinky fingernail, it acts up whenever I get cold, hot, or in between, like kind of warm. I don't think I should be climbing any mountains. None of those things matter. Roberta, please tell Mr. Hurt Pinky over here that it's perfectly safe to climb Mount Everest. Yeah, what, what, what do you mean? I can't do that. Climbing Mount Everest is extremely dangerous. Except for 1977, at least one person has died climbing Mount Everest every year since 1969. Oh no! Also, one in ten climbs end in death. And it's believed that over 230 people died climbing the mountain. Wow. You're right. Let's go home. Mm, good thinking. I feel like I could barely breathe up here. Listen, you little blimp. That's because we're up so high. And it gets even worse at the top. At Everest's highest point, you are breathing in one-third the amount of oxygen you would normally breathe due to atmospheric pressure. One-third? That's like... A lot! I'm really good at math. Before we go, I find it weird that there are absolutely no animals around here. Do any live on Mount Everest? Well, trust me, there isn't a whole lot of life on the mountain, but some things do live on there. The bottom of Mount Everest has forests of pine and hemlock trees. In these forests live animals such as musk deer, pikas, and 
the Himalayan tars. Higher up the mountain, the trees stop growing because it's too cold and windy, but shrubs still grow under the snow. Animals such as the snow leopard and mountain tar live in these areas. Few things can live near the top of the mountain due to the cold temperatures and small amount of oxygen. But one thing has been found near the top. The Himalayan jumping spider. <gasps> this spider has been seen on the mountain at heights up to 22,000 feet. Whoa. Spiders? Now we really got to get out of here. Oh, man. It's a shame we came all this way and didn't make it to the top. Now listen to me very carefully. The top is pretty interesting. It's made of marine limestone, meaning millions of years ago, Mount Everest was underwater. Oh, hi, man. Wanna go find some dead fish? What? Whoa, imagine if it was still underwater. That would be the best water slide ever. Yeah, we could name it Mount Wettervest. Ooh, or what about Mount Ever Splash? Yeah, or Mount Wettervest. You guys just reset the same thing like eight times. Eight times? That's like... Eight times. I'm really good at math. So how did Mount Everest get its name anyway? Remember? Mount Everest has had quite a few different names over time. The people of Nepal called it Saga Martha, which means forehead or goddess of the sky. No, no, no. I didn't want to name it that. I had a better name. Hear me out. Hear me out. Blockbuster Video presents Gigantor Mountain 2. Electric Bugalo. What? In Tibet, it's known as Chamalungma, which means Mother Goddess of the Universe. But years later, the mountain was renamed in honor of British surveyor George Everest. The story goes that in 1852, a mathematician working in India discovered what he thought was the highest summit in the world. Years later, this was confirmed, and despite the mountain already having a name from the people of Tibet and Nepal, the British decided to name it after Colonel George Everest, their head surveyor. Rumor has it that he was embarrassed by this honor. Lucky. This surveyor guy gets a mountain named after him. I don't have anything named after me. Aw, oh, cheer up. Besides, you're Mr. Dumb Mayo. You're named after everyone's second favorite condiment. Yeah, you're right, but you're not the first person to use that joke either. Hey, speaking of first, who's the first person to climb Mount Everest? Sir Edmund Hillary and the Pali Sherpa Tenzing Norgay were the first to successfully get to the summit of Mount Everest in 1953. Oh no, how are we gonna get down? What? Wow, thanks Roberta. Man. I've always been curious about what's at the top of Mount Everest. I sure wish we went up there. Me too. What do you say we go home and I make you some of that apple crumb chocolate ganache Mount Everest cake? That cake's real? No, I've been lying to you for the last four hours. Hmm, I wonder what is at the top of Mount Everest. Let's take a look. Watch his pants. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Just a heads up, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Actually hide them in all my videos, but this one is really hard to find. It's black and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it if you can. You could use it on stuff from my Teespring store like this Roberta pillow or my new What is Pants shirt. Check the description box for a link. Also, I have quizzes and worksheets too. There's a link in the description box for that as well. It's on my Teachers Pay Teachers site. You can download a bunch of activities that go along with my videos, so check it out. And last, but the most important, this video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon. They picked Mount Everest for me to cover. Special thanks to Creative Devin and Zach T, Austin and Lissa, Avery L, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Gavin Eshteg, Brenton, Gavin Meidel, Elijah Robert, Nora C, Dean Scandalakis, Chris F, Santi Suk Siriu, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Jacoboy Lorenzo C, Jamil Panazai, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Elsa and Ivor, Adi and Riley Biley, Ethan G, Kai Kim, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy and Mora, Matthew and James Mondiello, 
Evan Lee, Michelle and Conrad, Wesley C, Harry, Jack Declan Page, and Zeno the Shark. You could sign up for my Patreon by going to patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo, or just look in the description box for a link. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, see my secret behind the scenes videos, like the ones right there, pick my next topic, get your name in a video, and more. Be the freshest one not to mess with. My tip is cold as Mount Everest. Never let a hater face me play ya. Marvin Gabra in the Himalayas. My favorite time of day is this. When the sun's real bright and I'm Grace Swift. Another day to live, trying to touch the sky. Gotta reach that peak till I'm out high. What?